And guys, quickly before we do hop into this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring this Rocket League video. This website gives flexibility to every single platform. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do massive deals on there. And use code Zenic at checkout and get yourself a 3% off your orders. And guys, this right here is an example of a quick sell. He's trying to get rid of his items and I pick this item up for an absolutely insane underpay. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Rocket League video and this is a video. I'm going to be showing you guys episode 3 of the brand new series going from nothing all the way up to the white mainframe. So if any of you guys are unaware of what this series is, basically I'm going to be trading up from one PCC crate and building my inventory up, showing you guys a loads of tips and tricks as well, telling you guys how you can make yourself some profit and eventually get myself that titanium white mainframe. So if this is your first time ever seeing this video or ever seeing my channel, make sure to go check the link in the description. It will take you down to the first episode and basically by doing that you can see where I've come from, see where I've been trading from and you can pretty much catch up with this episode. And if you guys are enjoying the series and you want to see more of this on my channel, make sure to smash that like button right now. Let's try and aim for 400 likes on this video and I'll make sure to bring out frequent episodes every other day. And if you guys have not already, make sure to smash that subscribe button right now and turn on those post notifications so you can keep up to date with every single brand new video upload to the channel. And without further ado, let's get straight into this third episode. I hope you guys enjoy. So the very first trade of this whole episode is basically where I found myself a guy that wanted to buy my purple halo and he had a load of different offers. I was literally in the trade for about maybe 5-10 minutes. And eventually we did come to a very good deal where you put in a painted exotic and a crate and obviously a little paint finish. I'm not sure what that's going to be worth. Literally nothing probably. But even so, considering this is worth maybe one or two PCCs at a complete max. And obviously crates are pretty bad at the moment. I really don't mind getting myself a painted clockworks and all of those ads. So that's a tiny bit of profit there. And then after a little bit of time, I find myself a guy that has a tactician burnt in a rock saying, And he wants a load of offers because he can't sell it. And I'm completely fine with doing that. Because I know in my head that I've got a lot of people that come to me with tactician stuff. So eventually, I'll find a guy on the look of a group that has stuff and he wants tactician certified items, obviously. And I didn't even mind paying this because obviously the clockwork is worth maybe 0.2 on a spreadsheet. And the tachyons maybe 0.15, something like that. I really don't care because they're so hard to sell and we actually do get a tactician burnt in a octane. In the next trade, I do find myself a guy that wants to buy a 20XX. And I really can't complain about doing this because at the moment... 20xx and heat wave the demand has been pretty low for them because obviously 220xx is a little bit more than the heat and people are actually getting scared of every single bmd because of the key value but after the key value drops which is in about a week i would say the bmds will shoot back up in price like a tiny bit and then eventually everyone will be wanting bmds again but obviously i'll get myself a tiny bit of an overpay here which is actually a pretty good deal for the 20xx so i don't mind doing this making a little bit more profit and then after looking on the look of a group i eventually found a guy that wanted to buy my non-crate import and i can't complain about doing this getting myself three nitro crates is actually a little bit of an overpay so i really don't mind doing that because it's normally worth maybe two to three nitro crates so obviously i'm gonna take three nitro crates so that's a little bit of an overpay not much obviously but every little counts and if you get yourself loads of overpays tiny over time it will actually add up to quite a lot and obviously like i said i need to shift these crates as soon as i can because they're going to drop in value very soon and then we do actually find ourselves a highlight of this whole episode i pay a hex a pcc crate and a glossy block that i found which is actually did come in handy because he said add a tiny bit i added a glossy block and it actually did tick up so that's actually insane getting myself some certified golden egg white disco text they're probably worth maybe around a slip like a slipstream and price but obviously they're not the easiest to sell but like i said i'm a patient trader that's why i make so much profit so i'm very patient with my trades and eventually i'll get myself a very good deal and then after a little bit of time i do find a guy that wants to buy my tactician burnt sienna octane and i can't complain about this because the price that he does pay is actually pretty insane that's probably what i would expect for a guy that obviously collects tactician items which is this guy so he pretty much put this off for up. He put in a Tora, a Salty, a Lightning Yellow, which obviously is about, like, worth around a PTC crate, as well as the Salty, and then an Endo as well. So he's probably paying maybe a Biomass, maybe a Labyrinth, which is actually a very good deal for the Burnsy and Octane. And then once again, the look of a group does come in clutch here as I find the guy that really wants to get himself a Parallax. He's literally been listening so much. I saw him on the look of a group. And eventually, when I did get a Parallax, I hit this guy up. I was like, yo, what are you offering from Parallax? And he put up so many items. I could not believe it. He put in a Labyrinth first off. That's like maybe four, five, maybe six PCCs away. And then he added a Dominus GT, a Mantis, a White Royal Crown, loads of other items, loads of crates. So that's an absolutely incredible deal there for my Parallax. And then for the pure fact that these crates are dropping a load in price, the new Zephyr crates, I just thought why not get myself two PCCs, well the equivalent which is two non-crate very rares. Obviously, 
like I said before, the non-crate variants, the PCCs, everything that is to do with crates is going to drop very soon. So make sure to sell as many as you can if you have not already because they're just going to drop so much as the keys will. So make sure to just sell as many as you can. And obviously, getting this deal is actually pretty good because it's worth maybe one to two PCCs at the moment. By the time I've uploaded this video, it's probably going to be worth maybe one for one for a PCC. So that's a good deal there, making myself a little bit more profit. And then with the two non-crate variants I recently just picked up, I find a guy that wants to buy loads of them. He wants to buy four for his two. I said, uh, I think I'm okay because obviously, like I said before, you've got to try and push for every single trade. He said he would add one crate in and I was completely fine with doing that trade for the pure fact of two. Is a mystery gold explosion, so hopefully I might be, able, might be able to get myself a tiny bit of an overpay. I'm not too sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. But obviously, getting rid of the non-crate variants is probably the best thing I can do, making myself a tiny bit more profit. And then once again, I do get myself a decent trade here as I pay two PCCs for two PCC imports and a tiny bit of ads. I think it was a painted uncommon. Obviously, this uncommon is going to be worth absolutely nothing. But I don't even care because I'm picking up the imports for one for one for a PCC which is actually pretty good. It would be good normally, and it's even better now for the, like like I've said before, like I've said so many times, the PCCs and the non-crate variants are going down so much in value. So I don't mind doing this trade, getting myself imports, and eventually if I do get five, I'll get myself a BMD. So that is the final trade of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. We actually made a bunch of profit from buying and selling those crates. It actually did work out pretty well. And obviously, I cannot wait to try and sell those white discos. It's probably going to be a little bit of a hard one, but we're going to make so much profit out of them. The main couple of tips I can give you guys for this video is patience is probably one of the best ways you can make yourself some profit. Because if you are patient with an item, you'll get yourself a mad overpay eventually. And also, if you do find some guys quick selling items, try and pick them up immediately. Because there's going to be people trying to nab that deal as soon as possible. So keep an eye out on the Xbox looking for group and eventually we'll find a deal. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see some more of this series, if it helped you in any way, shape or form, just make sure to smash that like button right now. It honestly means the world. And let's try and aim for 400 likes and that'll be absolutely insane. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time.